Hi, I'm Tony Farley and I'm the director for Parish 2020 for the Catholic Archdiocese of Sydney. Well, it's been about five months since I started in the position and it's been a great time of meeting with all sorts of people in parishes, the leaders of the parishes, the parish priests, the administrators, I've been to deanery meetings, I've met with people um, in the polling centre and elsewhere, and I've been all over Sydney. It's been an incredible experience in terms of seeing what people are doing and understanding parish life in all of its diversity across the city of Sydney. Uh, there's no one thing that you can say about it, but I have to say this, that everywhere I've been, people have been incredibly welcoming and they've been very keen to share in what they do as pastors when it comes to um, our priests. But we've also um, had meetings where other people within parishes have come together and talked about what they are doing at the moment, what they'd hope to do, what their expectations are, and probably most importantly, what sort of support that they want for their parishes going into the future. If we look at the three areas of, areas of parish life, um, we're talking about community. How do you build great parish communities? And there are many examples of great parish communities that I've visited already. It's also about preaching and teaching the Word of God and how we can do that in a contemporary sense. And there are challenges with that, but there are challenges that are being met day in and day out by parishes across the Archdiocese of Sydney. And then in terms of how can we build beautiful liturgies and how we create music, um, that crosses all of, of the vast um, territory that we have in church music. That's something that's being worked on around Sydney in the most incredible of ways. And so there's high quality music that's being created in parishes that's reverent, that's um, focused on worship, focused on us connecting with God um, and helping us to develop a relationship with Jesus and a notion of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So with all of that together, at the moment, it really is a matter of looking at what people are doing and asking them what support they want. There's one other thing that I wanted to say because I think it's really important in terms of where we go from here. One of the first questions that I ask priests when I go to visit them is, how did you come to priesthood? And that's been one of the most rewarding and incredible experiences you can possibly imagine. Because our priests come from all walks of life, many different cultures, and they have many different experiences that brought them to priesthood. And I think that's something worth celebrating and thinking about and understanding. And I'm hoping that more priests share their story of priesthood with others because it truly is inspiring. And it allows us to look at where we sit within the church and what ministries we are drawn to and how we can connect with God through our parishes and through our communities. So I'd just like to finish by thanking every priest and every every parishioner that I've talked to in this process. I look forward to seeing you um, out there soon. And remember, if I'm invited to come to somewhere, I'll do my very best to get there as soon as possible. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you. Mm -hmm.